What's up guys, I'm Morley from Yelron Blog. A couple of videos ago, I made this stamped leather belt for my uncle. Now most of the time, whenever I make something, I like to figure out how to make it on my own. I usually just dive into it and do a lot of on the fly problem solving. And in this case, that didn't really work out. So the way I sized the belt was by taking his waist measurement and subtracting the length of the buckle to get the total hypothetical length of the leather piece for the belt. Now this has a couple of issues inherent in it. Number one, a person's waist measurement is not the same as the belt they should be wearing. I could have figured this out with a quick Google search, but in the throes of the project, I just wanted to get making and I didn't really do my due diligence. You have to size a belt up a few inches from a person's waist size because it has to go around their waist and around the pants, as well as encompass all of the leather thickness around their waist. So I could have figured that out quite easily online, but unfortunately I didn't. The other thing is I took his waist measurement just from his pant size. Now, as we all know, pant sizes are not very consistent. Anytime you try on jeans in a store, I know in my case, you never really know if they'll fit or not right off the shelf. You kind of just have to try it. So a much better way to do this would have done our true waist measurement and then converted that to a belt size. In the end, when he tried on this belt, it ended up being about six inches too small. I was pretty bummed when I found out he couldn't wear it then and there, but we decided that I would make an extension for the belt by that additional six inches. So today I'm gonna to show you how I fixed this belt and made the extension.
In other news, you may have noticed that it sounds a lot more echoey in here than usual. The reason for that is my apartment is almost totally packed up. I'm moving out of Montreal, and I'm actually working at an off-grid Rocky Mountain Lodge this summer. But I definitely will continue to make videos, and I will most definitely continue to make stuff this summer. I'm bringing all my leather crafting tools out west. So I've gotten it such that all of my leatherworking tools and some consumables fit in here. This is dyes oils, other consumables, collection of leather, some scrap leather as well, all different sizes, and rags. So that's really all I need to be leatherworking out west. I have some projects in mind, but I'm going to also experiment with some different styles of project. The time between posting will probably lengthen out a bit, as I'm not sure quite how often I'll have access to the internet. This is the last video from this apartment, so stick around and watch out for my first video from out west. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.